Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and we're joined by the Deck Builders Toolkit from Kaladesh. I thought it'd be cool to look at some of these uh, side products that maybe your store stocks, maybe they don't. Maybe you've seen them at the bigger box stores, who knows. Uh, personally, when I was new to Magic, I actually bought a fat pack and uh, never bothered with like the pre-made decks, the starter decks, intro decks, intro packs, whatever they call them. Uh, and I never got a Deck Builders Toolkit, so I actually have no idea what's inside of here. Um, it does say it includes 285 cards, that's all right there, and the back actually says expand your collection instantly. It uh, has 285 cards in it, and it's everything you need to create multiple magic decks. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I mean, it's better than one pre-made deck where everybody knows what's in it. Uh, now, here's the thing that's weird. Under contents, it says 125 semi-randomized cards. And I asked a lot of people, and nobody has any idea what that means. Uh, it has four 15-card booster packs from the recent MTG sets, so normal boosters, so that's cool. You get four boosters no matter what. Uh, 100 basic land cards, which is, I believe, a little bit more than the uh, fat pack, now called bundle uh, packs. I thought those were only 80, but maybe they changed that too. Um, then you get a deck builder's guide to building the best MTG decks. Cool. I mean, who needs my channel now? Um, it has a quick reference card, I think we've all seen that, and full art reusable card storage box. Cool. So I better not destroy it. So let's crack it open. Oh, look at this. Now, inside the sleeve here, we've got Discover the World of Magic the Gathering. Ooh. Cool. Chandra's on the front. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my gosh, so it's like a welcome to the game. And then they're showing off how many countries and people and all that stuff. You can play duels or promoting duels, which uh, I, I played it. I didn't care for it. <laughs> I think X-Mage is better, but I think it's it does exactly what they said it does. I think it's a, it's a good product overall. Oh boy, and then they tell you to go play locally, and they have the tournament experience, and the stories, and probably a link to the story. That's brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant for new people right here. Um, I think anybody would get the gist of magic very quickly, and it looks fun, it looks, you know, impressive. This is smart right here. They should just have these. They should just have these to, like, hand out to people as informational packets at local gaming stores instead of just posters and stuff. That was way more informative and concise. Now, unlike the fat packs, this one does not have printing on the outside. Or inside, it has printing on the outside. And this is the full art reusable box. Definitely lower quality thin corrugation compared to the, uh, like, compressed fiber or whatever uh, the fat packs are made out of. Well, let's see if I can figure out how to open it. Hey, I bet it has something to do with this. Oh, look at that. Uh, doesn't seem the most durable to me. I mean, it's thick, but this would get destroyed pretty easily. Oops. I'll face you guys with it. Oh, look at this. Here we go. So they've got one sealed pack with self-assembler on the front. That's interesting. Another pack with... Oh, Aegis Angel. Holy cow. Wait, what symbol is that? What? I've never seen that symbol. Look at that. Whoops. It's like a... Like an M16 almost. Huh, the core set that never came out. An Aegis Angel, that's old. That's, um... Oh boy, that's gotta be Born of the Gods or something. That's interesting, because that's not legal. Uh, now we've got... Uh, that must be part of the land pack. Oh, it's a... Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> wow, and I didn't, like, stick a knife in the box or anything stupid. They just straight up broke that. Well, edge of the card's intact, so... Dude, that is so weird. Like, wouldn't they have caught that? All right, so these appear to be Kaladesh lands. Let's find out. Yes, they are. Beautiful. All right, no energy tokens, nothing fancy, just straight up Kaladesh lands. Boy, I'm terrible at camera work right now. All right, so that's probably half the land pack, unless that is 100. Sure doesn't feel like it. That's weird. Um, then we've got, well, that's prophetic right there. All right. And we got a spacer, lovely spacer. Might uh, might make that into a beautiful centerpiece for Thanksgiving. Look at that, it's a transformer, look at that. That's amazing. This is my favorite part right here, as I chuck it. And let's see, now, oh, now here we go. Wait, wait a minute. This I didn't see coming. <laughs> okay, Kaladesh booster pack. Kaladesh booster pack. 
Eldritch Moon Booster Pack. Shadows of Rainestrad Booster Pack. That is interesting because it shows you the different mechanics. They're not all from the same set. I think that's actually smart. I like that because these are all standard legal right now and you'll say, oh, this is, you know, werewolves and vampires and stuff. And oh, this kind of is too. Bad example. And then Kaladesh. That's brilliant. I like that, actually. I, I honestly thought from the colors on the side that was a journey to Nyx, and I would have just died laughing. That would have been so funny. Alright, so we've also got the quick reference guide. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with this. And, whoops, last and possibly least, we've got... Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, this is pretty. Hold on. Oh, they really went hardcore on the folding machine here. Jeez. Oh my. How to build a deck. Here, everybody just pause it and read it. There. <laughs> this is cool. I might read this later and tell you what I think of it. Um, oh, and look at that. They've got the, uh, the different descriptions of the, the colors, what they tend to do. The Planeswalkers most associated with it. That's kind of cool, I like that. And they got over here, like, what the different colors tend to do, I guess. Um, yeah, destroy stuff, force them to discard cards, steal life from your opponent. Black. That's brilliant. I mean, this is really smart, because even the stuff in the middle tells you exactly what they do, what type of creatures, you know, find the deck that you like in your style. This is such a great product so far for new people. I mean, the only problem I have is Aegis Angel. I'm not sure... If that was printed in some kind of set I don't know about and it is still legal, I don't know. It, it would be so weird if all the boosters are legal and those aren't. Also, let's quickly count these. 60. So that's odd. <laughs> Could have sworn they said 100. Hmm. Maybe the rest are in here because I don't think these are meant to be sealed. And one's red, one's silver, one's... Dotted. I mean, th th it's just strange. Like, this is just odd. Here, I'm gonna move these up. Um, so 60 lands. Let's just dig right into it. See what's in the Aegis Angel pack. I really do like that, uh, creature card. I'm not sure why these bands are on it when, uh, they don't help you open it. <laughs> Weird. Oh, there we go. Well, we've got Aegis Angel, Sphinx of Magosi, guarantee that ain't legal. Nightmare, I know for a fact that's Origins and M15 and M14 and a bunch of others, going back to Alpha. Um, Shiv and Dragon, holy cow. Soul of the Harvest, Sarah Angel, okay, now we're getting old. Now, see, those were all rares. Um, Sarah Angel, and then we have, okay, Aerial, Aerial Responder, that's, um, that's an uncommon, that's legal. Uh, marked by honor, I'm not sure. Um, they did change the symbol, though. You can see that one had uh, Kaladesh. This one has SOI. Um, Cathar's Champion, that is legal. Uh, Puncturing Light, okay, that's SOI. Um, Sigardian Priest, that's Eldritch Moon. So these must be the semi-random. Uh, this, uh, this is from um, Kaladesh. So if it's from Kaladesh, they put the Kaladesh symbol on it. And if it's from something else... Air Servant, good lord, that's M15, I think. Um, they put the little Magic 2016 on it. So, I guess that's how they indicate the rarity, but this is so weird. Like, Disperse, that's not legal. This is, this is, that is, 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 isn't. Oh, they're by color. Well, they're just wrong about this one. Mind Rod is legal. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Dead weight. So... I mean, it's nice that they showed people which ones are legal and which ones aren't, but it's kind of weird that they're, like, intermixed. I mean, I'm just, I'm blown away by this. This is so, so strange. So, I don't know what, two-thirds of that maybe, 75% were actually legal playable, but the set symbol will tell you that, and I'm hoping some guide somewhere in here tells you that as well. Otherwise, you'll have to rely on your friends to tell you that. So let's see what's in this one. Maybe it'll be the rest of our lands. That would be nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, Cinder Barons. That's an OGW duel. That's cool. Cinder Barons, Meandering River. Oh, Submerged Boneyard. Okay, so these, maybe that's what they mean by semi-random. This is obviously not random. They did that on purpose. 
Um, Forsaken Sanctuary, two of those. Two Fall Orchards, two Highlands, two Stone Quarries, two Woodland Streams. Oh, I thought that was a really good one. Oh, and then the rest of the lands. Okay, I see. Two, 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 three, 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 one. I am just, I'm so deeply confused by this. It is so weird. I still like it. I think it's cool and I think new people should buy it, but this is just like unusual. Like this is so weird. <laughs> I can't get over it. Let's see what's in this one. I mean, if there's an Alpha Mox in here, I wouldn't even be that surprised at this point. This is so weird. Like, I guess quite literally anything could be in these. Oh my god, these are hard to get into. I'll bite it if I have to. There we go. Oh, dang it. Come on, I don't want to damage it. Urgh! Brute force. All right. Whoops, I really messed up the top of that one. <laughs> I have two foils of it. All right, Lightning Axe, all right, that's, it looks like about the same. I mean, we've got Eldritch, we've got Kaladesh, SOI. So, so far, no, none of the 16 marked ones. So maybe those were for casual, they were for commander, they were to show off just older cards. I think that's kind of cool. So yeah, this one is 100% legal. So these are all legal, some of these were legal, and all of these were lands and dual lands. So that's really smart. Instead of just a land pack, they gave people the basic two color come and tap duels. That is really smart because uh, you could take this and build, like they said, multiple decks. Um, so for the MSRP, I mean, this is so much nicer than a fat pack for newer players, I would say. So the question is, what is in these boosters? Let's find out. Ooh, it is over, there we go. I guess we'll start with, uh, well, let's go, in, let's go in chronological order to see what Jace has for us. And from what I understand, all boosters in all products are 100% the same and random. So these are not, like, special and don't contain mythics or something. Let's just skip right to the good stuff. So there we go, we've got Nahiri's Machinations, Runaway Carriage, love that one, Graph Mole Classic, and Anguished Unmaking. Ooh. Very nice, used to be expensive. Might be floating back around, and then, you know, there you go. Pretty much a standard booster, like I said. Whoops, I said I would go in order, Eldritch Moon. So the fact that you could pull a masterpiece out of this, I mean, that's just even better. I really like this product, I think it's smart. Everybody says, don't buy it, it's bad. Well, put yourself in a new person's shoes. It's fantastic, I don't know what you're talking about. So we've got Blessed Alliance, Abandoned Reason. Advanced Stitchwing, love that one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this, I was going to say, okay. <laughs> then we've got Assembled Alphas, the rare, and then the flip. Whoops. Oh, and then a foil. Flip and a foil. Hey, not bad. So we got a Field Creeper. Ooh, creepy. Not a bad pack. So yeah, you can get a foil, you can get a rare. If I pull a masterpiece out of this, this will officially be the weirdest video I've ever filmed. Except for the one with the cooking segment. Here we go. Hope I can uh, not show off the back one. I didn't look, hopefully you didn't. Furious Reprisal, Morbid Curiosity. Trusty Companion. And the rare is Inspiring Vantage, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic pull. Island and Servo. Well, that was a great pull right there. I mean, there's only six expensive rares in the set. That's one of them. I'd be happy to build a deck with those, that's for sure. All right, skip right to the uncommons we've got. Uh, Fairground Warden. Glint Nest Crane. Restoration Gearsmith. And Key to the City, I love that rare, that one's powerful. Like I said, that totally dominated at the pre-release. And there you go. So unfortunately, no masterpieces, but you could pull them. So four normal boosters, which are, you know, MSRP, about four bucks a piece. And then you get the land pack, the sort of seeded land pack with all the duels. You get some casual cards and commander cards, whatever you want to call them, you know, just out of cycle. And then 
I don't know, between the other pack and this one, probably 80-85% legal cards, standard legal cards. So they're a mix of Shadows and uh, Kaladesh and Eldritch Moon. Um, I didn't see any BFZ, and I didn't see any OGW, so that's interesting. So they only went back far enough to hit the last two, which is kind of nice because then it's durable. And people could buy it, they could pull anything, they get just the new stuff, and then they got the older boosters, they got a mix of the old and new. I mean, they could play anything with this, they got the lands, they've got everything they need. I don't remember the MSRP on these, if it was like 25 or 30, but even if, if it's below like 40, I would call this an exceptional, exceptional product. Um, everybody says, oh, the, the value, the whatever, but just think about if you're a new player and you open this. It's absolutely brilliant. It tells you what you need to know. It, it's so much information. It looks good. It's compact. You get the storage box to store it all back in. Um, you don't really have to buy anything past this except for sleeves. It would have been nice if it came with sleeves, but um, I don't recall Wizards ever selling a product with sleeves ever. <laughs> I'm probably wrong on that, but who knows. Um, so yeah, I mean... <laughs> great pulls here. I mean, I don't, I don't remember what the other rare was, but uh, not bad at all. Um, so that's what's inside a deck builder's toolkit. So, you know, the only thing to do right now is to open another one <laughs> for comparison. Oh, come on. You know you saw that coming. All right, let's move this. I really want to see how this stacks up. I'm very interested in this. So let's just skip right to the openings here. Right. Okay. It'd be interesting if we get the same boosters. I do believe we do. Um, yep. Two one one. Oh, how about that? Now we've got Aegis Angel, uh, Prophetic Prism, and Self Assembler again. And they said that these were semi randomized. So what I'm thinking is maybe the cards from the modern, <laughs> modern, the current standard block, um, that's the ones that are not random, they're chosen on purpose, and the older ones are not, maybe? Although that's Aegis Angel, that's not from the, the recent sets, I'm not sure. I'm going to assume this is a full land pack and keep it sealed just <laughs> because it's easier to sell that way or give it to somebody. Yeah, I really wouldn't sell it, I'd probably just give it to a new player. Well, let's see what's in this one first and foremost. So I think the short one was the 100% legal pack last time, so let's see. Yep, SOI, EMN, SOI, Kaladesh. Uh, it's kind of by color uh, to an extent. It's by like threes, kind of. I don't know, that is, I would call that semi random. Alright, so yeah, I mean, probably pretty similar to this one, although, hey, it's sitting right there. Let's find out. See if I can do this. Good lord, it's upside down and backwards. Alright. Hmm. Well, grapple. Yep, boon. Sanitarium. Yeah, I think it is 100% the same. Yeah, it would appear to be. So that one's uh, not random. Either that or I got two sort of randomized ones. And let's see what's in self-assembler. Of course, the other piles are already messed up, so I can't compare them. Sorry about that. Let's see. Cinder Barons, all right. Oh, this is weird. So we got the duels, 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 singles, all the way back. I don't remember if that's what was on the front of the other one that had the lands, but whatever. I'll assume that is correct. And Aegis Angel, this is the one that I'm wondering about, if it's 100% the same. I mean, these obviously came off the line at the same time because they came from a distributor near each other on the rack or from the same palette or something. But you would think in case somebody bought two, they wouldn't want to replicate it. Oh, uh, Sphinx. Nightmare. Hey, that looks awfully familiar. Shivan. This is the same exact order, according to my memory. Sarah. Ariel. Uh, marked. Okay, I didn't memorize this far. Guardian Steadfast. Well, they are by color. Spire Charge Air Servant. Mm, I think these are exactly the same. That's interesting. Mind Rot. The misprinted Mind Rot. Or mis it should have been marked as legal is what I'm saying. I remember that. And then we get into the red. And then back to 
Let's see, green and colorless. Hmm. So I think it might be exactly the same. Uh, so I'm not sure what they mean by semi-random. I mean, maybe they're referring to these. Who knows? But for fun, let's open these and see what we get. Oh, well, let's see. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Don't want to ruin the surprise or anything. We got Pale Rider, Fleeting Memory, Second Harvest is the rare. Whoops, that means Creeping Dread is supposed to be under there. And Convicted Killer is the flip. And Stitched Mangler Foil. It's a shame I just bought four of these. All right. Flip that upside down so you guys can see it. Let's go to Eldritch Moon. This is the most exciting part right here. So if you're a new player, you get to crack packs, which uh, everybody knows is a riot. Here we go. Or you could draft with these, of course. Uh, Unsubstantiate, Liliana's Elite, Noose Constrictor, and Decimator of Provinces, the Mythic. Hello. And then a Cryptolith Fragment, Proxy, and a Human. Stupid humans keep beating everybody. So, pretty good pull there. Obviously proves you can get a Mythic in these, but like I said, the, oh my god is that misprinted. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not sure my camera will pick that up. There is like no black ink in that thing. Oh my gosh. That is really funny. <laughs> like I've seen this card all day and there is barely, barely any black ink or blue or something. They're missing one of the colors. That is so funny. Like her hair isn't even black at all. Let's see if the one behind it. No, the one behind it looks perfect. So that's going to my misprint pile. I'm going to set that way over here. That is funny. Uh, those all look normal. Actually, that honestly looks as dark as can be. What, did they just like give me a pile of misprints? Like, <laughs> did these not pass quality control so they put them in the, in the deck builder's toolkit? <laughs> that is so funny. So we got Oval Chase, uh, Glint Nest, Restoration Gearsmith, and ooh, Scrap Heap Scrounger. Very good card. All right. And let's see what's in the last one. Masterpiece would be really nice, I'm just saying. Or cards that aren't misprinted, that'd be nice too. Um, that looks normal-ish. I don't know, these all look a little off, but it could be the lighting in here. Um, let's see. That looks dark too, doesn't it? Ah, weird. Ooh, there's a foil in the back. Looks like a foil planes. Underhanded... Wait a minute. Underhanded designs, and I swear that's printed dark as can be. Whoops. It's really weird. So all these are printed kind of funny. Morbid Curiosity, that one's printed as dark as can be too. Trusty Companion and Animation Module, very nice. And of course, a Foil Planes, beautiful. Whoops, I put that on the wrong pile. All right, so that's Deck Builders Toolkit number two. Uh, as far as I could tell, it's 100% identical, so that's odd. Um, but maybe that's, you know, there are like five different Deck Builders Toolkits you can get, or ten different combinations or something. You know, that might be what they mean. Uh, either way, overall, I think it's brilliant. I don't think uh, most of you should go out and buy it. But uh, for new players, yeah, why not? I'd point them this direction instead of a fat pack, and they could learn on their own, learn about the colors, and it's less that you have to tell them. So <laughs> that's my overall verdict about this. I'll see you guys next video.